Today I've got a story from my childhood that still sends shivers down my spine. Picture this. It's the late 90s, and I'm growing up in the suburbs, surrounded by dense forests and winding creeks. As a kid, I was always drawn to the great outdoors, spending my weekends exploring the trails and hidden nooks of the wilderness. Now, I wasn't exactly the most popular kid in school. I had a small group of friends, but I always felt like I was on the outskirts of the cool crowd. One of my acquaintances was Brent, a big burly guy who always seemed a bit out of place, maybe a year older than the rest of us, and not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Despite our differences, Brent extended an invitation that would lead to a nightmarish adventure. It all started innocently enough. One free day afternoon in late October, as I was getting ready to hit home from school, Brent approached me with an intriguing proposition. He claimed that some of the guys had stumbled upon an old abandoned house hidden deep in the woods, and they planned to explore it that night. To my surprise, Brent invited me to join them. Thrilled to be included in their plans, I eagerly agreed. After dinner, I discreetly grabbed a few beers from my dad's stash, packed a flashlight, and headed out to meet Brent at our designated spot a corner of Main and Poplar Street close to the woods. As dusk settled over the horizon, Brent and I ventured into the darkening woods, our footsteps muffled by fallen leaves. Despite my excitement, a sense of unease began to gnaw at me. Something didn't feel quite right, but I brushed off my apprehensions, eager to prove my worth to the group. As we delved deeper into the forest, the canopy of trees overhead cast eerie shadows, and the silence was broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves. I couldn't shake the feeling that we were being watched, but I pushed aside my fears, focusing instead on the anticipation of the adventure ahead. Hours passed, and still, there was no sign of the abandoned house. With each passing moment, my unease grew until it reached a crescendo when Brent suddenly turned on me, his eyes glinting with malice. Before I could react, he lunged at me, pinning me to the ground with a machete pressed against my throat. In that heart-stopping moment, time seemed to stand still. I pleaded for my life, my mind racing with thoughts of escape. Then, in a stroke of luck, I managed to extinguish our flashlights, plunging us into darkness. In the confusion, I wriggled free from Brent's grasp and fled into the night, leaving him behind in the inky blackness of the forest. Shaken to the quarry, I stumbled through the woods, my heart pounding in my chest. It wasn't until I reached the safety of the streetlights that I dared to breathe a sigh of relief. But the terror didn't end there. In the days that followed, I grappled with the guilt of leaving Brent behind and the fear of what he might do next. Months passed and the memory of that harrowing night faded into the recesses of my mind. But then, one fateful day, while biking with my friends, we stumbled upon an old farmhouse hidden among the trees. Intrigued, we ventured inside, only to make a chilling discovery. A pair of broken glasses that belonged to Greg, a friend who had gone missing years ago. The revelation sent a shiver down my spine, reigniting the mystery surrounding Greg's disappearance. What had happened to him all those years ago? And what dark secrets lay hidden within the walls of that abandoned farmhouse? As I reflect on these haunting memories, I can't help but wonder what other mysteries lie buried in the shadows of our past, waiting to be unearthed. Once upon a moonlit night, Beneath the shadow of a looming, dilapidated mansion, a group of intrepid explorers gathered, drawn together by whispers of the house's haunted past. The mansion stood as a monument to bygone days, its once grand facade now crumbling and overgrown with ivy, its windows shattered and empty eyes staring out into the darkness. Despite the warnings of superstitious townsfolk and the palpable sense of dread that hung heavy in the air, the allure of the abandoned mansion proved too strong to resist for these brave souls. Armed with nothing but flickering flashlights and nerves of steel, they ventured forth into the heart of the haunted estate, 
their hearts pounding with equal parts fear and excitement. As they stepped across the threshold into the mansion's dimly lit foyer, a chill wind seemed to whisper through the halls, carrying with it the faint echoes of long-forgotten footsteps and anguished cries. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the sound of their own breathing echoed ominously in the stillness. Undeterred by the oppressive atmosphere, the group pressed on, their footsteps echoing hollowly against the worn floorboards as they explored each shadowy corner and hidden alcove. Room by room they uncovered the mansion's dark secrets, a forgotten ballroom adorned with tattered draperies and cobweb-covered chandeliers, a decaying library filled with dusty tomes and crumbling manuscripts, a desolate dining hall where an eerie silence hung like a shroud. But it was in the depths of the mansion's labyrinthine corridors that they stumbled upon the true heart of darkness, a chamber so steeped in malevolence that even the bravest among them felt a chill run down their spine at the sight. The walls of the chamber were adorned with grotesque symbols and macabre artwork, while the air thrummed with a palpable sense of foreboding. In the center of the chamber stood an altar, its surface etched with arcane sigils and stained with the blood of sacrificial offerings. As the group gazed upon the scene in horror, a sudden gust of wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their flickering flashlights and plunging them into darkness. In the pitch blackness, they heard the sound of whispered incantations and unholy chants, their voices rising in a cacophony of madness and despair. Panic gripped the group as they fumbled blindly in the darkness, their hearts pounding with terror as they sought to escape the sinister chamber and the malevolent force that lurked within. With trembling hands and racing hearts, they stumbled towards the chamber's exit their senses overwhelmed by the oppressive weight of the darkness that surrounded them. And as they emerged into the wan light of the moonlit night, they vowed never to return to the cursed mansion, their minds haunted by the horrors they had witnessed within its walls. But even as they fled from the mansion's cursed embrace, they knew that the darkness would follow them, its tendrils reaching out from the shadows to ensnare their souls in its malevolent grasp. For the true horror of the abandoned mansion lay not in the crumbling walls or the echoing corridors, but in the ancient evil that dwelled within, a darkness that would forever haunt their dreams and torment their waking hours. So heed my warning, dear readers, and beware the allure of abandoned mansions, for within their decaying halls lies a darkness that can consume even the bravest of souls. In the heart of the quaint town of Ravenswood, nestled amidst rolling hills and ancient forests, stood the imposing silhouette of Briarwood Manor, a dilapidated mansion steeped in centuries-old legend and lore. Perched atop a hilltop, its weathered façade bore witness to the passage of time, its once grand architecture now a crumbling relic of days long past. Whispers of Briarwood Manor's haunted history had long permeated the fabric of Ravenswood, passed down through generations like a sinister heirloom. Tales of tragedy and terror clung to its walls, woven into the very fabric of its existence by the spectral echoes of those who had once called it home. As the sun dipped below the horizon on the eve of All Hallows' Eve, casting long shadows across the landscape, a group of intrepid explorers gathered at the outskirts of town. Drawn together by a shared fascination with the supernatural and a hunger for adventure, they had come to brave the depths of Briarwood Manor's haunted halls, eager to unlock the mysteries that lay hidden within its decaying walls. Armed with flashlights and an air of trepidation, the group set out into the gathering gloom their footsteps echoing softly against the forest floor as they made their way towards their destination. The night air was thick with anticipation, tinged with a palpable sense of foreboding that seemed to hang heavy upon the air. As they approached the crumbling gates of Briarwood Manor, a sense of unease settled over the group, like a shroud enveloping them in its cold embrace. The once grand entrance lay in ruins, its wrought iron gates twisted and broken, 
as if warped by the malevolent forces that lurked within. Undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, the explorers pressed on, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement as they crossed the threshold into the mansion's shadowy interior. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and the faint sound of whispering voices seemed to echo through the empty corridors, sending shivers down their spines. Room by room, they ventured deeper into the heart of Briarwood Manor, their flashlights casting long, twisting shadows upon the walls. Each chamber they explored revealed new secrets and hidden horrors, from dusty libraries filled with forgotten tomes to dimly lit parlors haunted by the specters of the past. But as they delved deeper into the labyrinthine corridors of the mansion, they soon realized that they were not alone. Strange apparitions flitted at the edges of their vision, their ethereal forms vanishing into the darkness as quickly as they appeared. Whispers echoed through the halls, carrying with them the echoes of long-forgotten tragedies and the restless souls of the departed. With each passing moment, the sense of Unisi that hung over the group grew ever more palpable, until it felt as through the very walls of the mansion were closing in around them. Desperate to escape the suffocating darkness, they turned to flee, only to find their path blocked by a figure clad in tattered rags, a ghostly guardian of Breerwood Manor's haunted legacy. As terror gripped their hearts and paralysis rooted them to the spot, the ghostly apparition advanced upon them, its eyes burning with an otherworldly fire. With nowhere left to run and the darkness closing in around them, the group braced themselves for the final, chilling embrace of Briarwood Manor's cursed embrace. And as the last echoes of their screams faded into the night, Briarwood Manor stood silent once more, its secrets preserved for eternity within its decaying walls, awaiting the next unsuspecting souls brave enough to venture into its haunted halls.